Welcome to eHeadandBrain.com. Today we will see a question on Turing machine, right? We will discuss Turing machine today. And the question for Turing machine is: Construct, construct Turing machine for language L is equals to a raised to n, b raised to n, c raised to n for all n's greater than or equals to 1 right so this is what a Turing machine question now we already discussed the difference between push down automata Turing machine and finite automata please do watch that video for more clarity on this topic now what I will do is I will teach you the technique how Turing machines can be drawn right now you can see this a Turing machine actually consists of finite automata plus two stacks and now these two stacks working will be simulated right you can actually have uh, actual stack like push down automata or there is one more method these two stacks is simulated using an infinite step using an infinite tape I can say so that is an infinite tape which can hold the characters in it right which can hold the characters in it and now this tape can be read in right to left or left to right or in both fashion whichever you like right so it depends on which type of tape you use in Turing machine and all the input all the inputs to this will be denoted by B's at the start which denotes blank symbols right so nothing is there on the tape each character is blank on this tape and that is denoted by B or phi you can denote anything let's denote B for the blank space I hope you understood the basics at least now we will see the notations now what is notations here look here the question is for a raised to n b raised to n and c raised to n let's take the minimum length string possible minimum length string possible is a b c when n is 1 right so this is a minimum length string possible next possible string is a a b b c c like this infinite strings are possible here right a a b b and c c okay now let's see what how to use this step intelligently to accept this language right so if how I gonna use it let's draw the tape first so tape will be drawn like this and everything is blank symbol what I will do is whichever string is given to me right I will take it and I will directly put it on to the tape right so what I will do I will put it on the tape like a b and c and the left over part you know what it will be all blank symbols will be there right so all blank symbols will be there it's an infinite tape so it means whatever input string is there from user take it and place it on the tape from left to right okay so this is a convention method you can literally put from right to left but right we don't know you can make infinity in the left part but let's for time being don't make that and what I will do is for time being I will consider a conventional method where left to right where left to right tape will be there and the string will be placed on from left to right fashion right now what I will do is when I read when I really want to accept this whether really this will be accepted or not again I have to write algorithm for this what algorithm I will write I will read a right I will read a on the tape and I will replace this a by x I will replace this a by x I can say okay and then similarly I will read b I will read B and then I will replace this B by Y and then again I will go back I will go forward sorry and then this C will be replaced by Z okay and now if I encounter B if I encounter B and the previous to it is Z right if I encounter B right and if previous to that is Z then I can say that it is accepted but now let's try to be more clear and use this string rather A, A, B, B and C, C that will make a um, picture more clear so I will put that string as it is A, A, B, B and C, C on the tape and others will be capital B which denotes it's an infinite step and the remaining characters are blank there now what I will do is in the first iteration right let's see how what is the logic a will be accepted first and then similarly the first B will be accepted and similarly the first C will be accepted and I will say that yes all three are matched and then I will go for the next iteration in the next iteration I will see the second B sorry second A then second B and then second C and then I will see that yes this is also equal and then I will say that yes is 
number of a's followed by number of b's followed by number of c's so how to do that if i get the first a first a i will replace it by x right i will replace it by x and then i will go replacing intermediate characters like a by a and then if i get a b this is the first scan so this b will be replaced by y and then the intermediate characters will be replaced as it is and then now this c will be replaced by z right and now what i will do is i will actually go backward i will go backward from here right and now what i will do is i will replace because the first scan is done i hope you understood the first scan is done so let's go to the left part of the step so now what i will do i will replace this b by b i will replace this y by y i will replace a by a and then if i get x if i get x what i will do is the first scan is done and then i will start the second scan in the second scan in the second scan i will say i will replace this a by x again now in further that y will be replaced by y now this is second b so this second b will be again replaced by y and then now this z will be replaced by z and now this is the last c i can say that and this c will be replaced by z again and what you can see is now you can see the blank character actually you can see next is the blank character and hence i can say that yes this string is accepted hence i can say that this string is accepted i hope you understood this now let's say whether a uh, invalid string will be accepted or not whether invalid string will be accepted or not the invalid string will be like this a a a then b b and then c c this is a invalid string i can say why it is invalid because there are three a's two b's and two c's so it's a invalid string let's apply the same logic here the first a is replaced by x right then move on this will be replaced by a as a a as a and then the first b will be replaced by y then this b will be replaced as b then the first c will be replaced by z right and that way i got the first iteration done now i will come back i will replacing from left side i will go to the left side i will replace b by b y by y so these are the first scan right and i will come here up to x again so this was the first scan now in the second scan the second a will be replaced by x right and the next a is replaced by a only this y will be replaced by y this b will be replaced by y i can say right because this is the second iteration and this is the second b and now this z will be replaced by z and this c will be replaced by z okay i hope you understood it and now what i will do is you can see that i can be able to see a blank space now but but still there is one a left over but still there is one a left over and hence i can say that this language will not be accepted because what i want to do is i really want to go back and i want to see let's go back from here i got the b it means let's go back let's go back let's replace z by z z by z y by y y by y and now what i will do this small a is replaced by small a and now further i will see that you can see this now after x i get a a after x what you get a and hence you can say this this is the only left over a and there is no third b no third c and hence i can say that this will not be accepted now let's see the notations of the turing machine what are the notations to be used for doing this stuff let's see there will be machines there will be machine and this machine will be definitely having i can say states right so how the states will be represented again like q0 q1 and something like that so it means there will be a transition function on q0 let's say if i get a on q0 you can say this on q0 if i get a what i will do i will just replace this a by x how to show this replication again it's a function let's say which goes to the next state and this a will be replaced by x and where to move that will be shown by right or left right so you can say this on state on state q0 if you get a you get a then where we go go to q1 replace a by x and where the pointer of the tape will go pointer will or head you can say that head or pointer will go to right side okay by one character by one character you can say that okay so this way 
this is the notations of the Turing machine please remember this similarly you can see this if I get B now on Q1 you might get a B so what I will say on Q1 if you get a B what you will do again you might be going to the Q2 and then this B will be replaced by Y and where you will be going you will be going to the right but where you are moving towards left when you get C I can see that on Q2 let's say if you get a C what I will do I will go to the state Q3 I will replace this C by Z and where I will move I will move back towards the left side now why to move left side and all we will see with this example where A raised to N, B raised to N and C raised to N is there now I will show you with the help of diagram simply or a state diagram which will be much easier now look here on Q0 I will say on Q0 if I get A let's take the valid string first let's take this string A, A, B, B and C, C right and this string will be definitely placed onto the tape I can say that so this string will be definitely placed onto the tape like this right now what I will do if I get first A it, this will be replaced by X so let's write that on transition light means on Q0 if I get A I will replace it by X and where I will move I will move to the right side you can see this A is replaced by X and where you are moving you are moving to the right side see moving right side is not for the state machine actually because the state machines are all together right from left to right right but this is for the tape means the tape pointer will be moved to the right side right and where you are going you are going on state Q1 let's say right similarly what you will do on Q1 now you can see this on Q1 you will again get the next A right so you are on the next A you don't have to change for this right so what I will do is if I get the number of A's in between I will definitely replace those A's by A's and where I will move I will again move to the right side so means this A will be replaced by A and now you will move to the next symbol which is B and now similarly you can say that on Q1 you can see this on Q1 if I get B I will go to Q2 I will go to Q2 and from what I will do I will replace this B by Y I will replace this B by Y and again you will move to the right side okay so let's show that this B will be replaced by Y and where you will be moving you will be definitely moving to the right side and where you are landing you are landing to the state Q2 right now you can see this means you will get your pointer is here now your pointer is here because this first B is replaced by Y so this is replaced by X A is still A B is replaced by Y and now you are here you are here on this B now this B should be replaced by B only so I will put a loop of that if I get a B right if I get a B so B will be replaced by B and where you will be moving you will be moving to the right side sorry for this notation actually this should be A should be replaced by A and you should be moving to the right side something like this follow this notation A will be replaced by X B will be replaced by Y comma R denotes where you have to go right and now similarly similarly you can say that if I get C now on Q2 you will get a C so the first C will be definitely replaced by Z and where you will move you will move to the left side now why to move to the left side because so this B is replaced by B and now this C will be replaced by Z it means the first scan is done in first scan one A is encountered one B is encountered one C is encountered and our job of the first scan is done and that's why the pointer will move to the left side understand in the state machine you are still going to the right side it has nothing to do with the state machine on state machine you are going to the right side but actually pointer is moving backward means where actually the pointer will come now the pointer will come to this point I can say the pointer will come to the B, ply, B point right so you are on the Q3 what you have to do you have to go and you have to scan unless and until you get the first X unless and until you get the this X now why this X is required because that will show that a recent scan is done this X shows the recent scan is done properly means from here I will go backward up to X so what I will do in meanwhile in meanwhile what I will do I will 
change i will change this b by b so i will put a loop of that i will show you i will change b by b and where you go you go to the left side similarly you will get encounter y also so you will say i will replace y by y and where you lead where you will lead to the left side again and then similarly you will get a a so a will be replaced by a where you will go to the left side right now okay understood and now what i have to do is from here from here it will show that this is the first scan done this is the first scan and now in the next scan again i will do the same job in the next scan i will do the same job now in this scan what is this scan for it means you encountered the x you encountered the x replace this x by x only and move to the right side i can say that move to the right side means all the way the back you came here this is not the pointer now the current position was this x is replaced by x also and where you are moving you are moving to the right side means you actually went to the right side and what you encountered you encountered a again you can see this so that's why a will be replaced by a and move to the right side okay next you encounter y you can see this this y must be replaced by y only don't play with this y so what i will do i will replace this y by y and again i will move to the right side okay now what you will get you will get the next b i can say the second b so this b will be replaced by b so now this is replaced by which so this is replaced by x this is replaced by y and now you will go to the right side what you will get you will get b will be definitely replaced by b and you one z should be replaced by z you don't have to touch this z so i will say z will be replaced by z and you will move to the right side and this will be replaced by z and you are here now i hope you understood right and now what you will do you will replace this c by z so this c will be replaced by z so c will be replaced by z and now where you will lead you will lead to the left side because this is the end of the second scan you can say that and now what you will get you can get z also right in between so you have to replace that z also so z will be replaced by z and again move to the left side b will be replaced by b you can see this even y will be replaced now this b is already been replaced and this y will be replaced by y right this y is also replaced by y this x will be replaced by x and now you got the recent iterations x so this is the recent iteration x it means yes your job is done of the second iteration and now if the string is valid if the string is valid what i will say that i will definitely say that the next will be y to this x for this x definitely the next part will be y i can say that and now what how to represent that it means the scans are done properly and i will say that if i get a y i will replace y by y and i will move to the right side right and similarly now i will be on the q4 state let's say similarly you might get a multiple y's y will be replaced by y's and then you will get a z z will be replaced by z and then you will go to the right side and when you get a blank symbol blank symbol will be replaced by blank symbol and you will say stop so that will be represented by b b comma s you can say that so this is a transition line and on this transition line you can write b will be replaced by b it says that stay or it is accepted and hence i will show that this is a final state and i can say this as a q5 state which is called as a halt state also halt means you are stopped it now and bb and this bb will be this is the b this b will be replaced by b and i will say yes i got the valid string i hope you understood it right now let's see whether the valid string a a a b b b c c c is accepted or not now let's put this string on to the tape right so let's put it on to the tape so this will be the tape right now what i will do is i will show you the scan one by one so this will be first scan this will be second scan and like this the scan will be there and the pointer position will be shown from the top let's say so at the start where you will be you will be at the first a right so now this first a is replaced by x you can see this a is replaced by x you will be moving to the right side means the pointer comes here right now 
what you will do this a will be replaced by a so yes this a will be replaced by a now you will go to the right side again this a will be replaced by a because it's a loop of a and now what you will encounter you will encounter the first b you are here so now the first b is replaced by y i can say that yes so yes our job is done now you are on q2 on q2 what you will do the next b will be replaced by b and this b is also replaced by b and now you get because here is a loop of b's b's right so b will be replaced by b and i will go to the right side now you will encounter the first c i can say so this is the first c right now the first c will be replaced by z you can see that and now where you are moving c you are moving to the left side not on the state diagram on the tape you will be moving to the left side means actually where you are coming you are coming to this part now you will be coming to this part okay and now what you will be doing you are on q2 q3 state and you already on this position okay now what you will do our first scan is done our job is to go back again so i will go back how to go back b will be replaced by b and then i will go to the left side this b will be replaced by b again because it's a loop and then i will go to the left side this y will be replaced by y you can say that and i will go to the left side and now this a will be definitely replaced by a right and then i will go to the left side and this a will be replaced by a and again i will go to the left side means now the recent x is encountered i can say that a recent x is encountered it means the first iteration is successful and you can see this if the first recent x is encountered i will replace this x by x and where i will go for i will go for the second iteration means now in second iteration this x is already been replaced by x and now you are on q0 and the pointer is here the pointer is here i can say that now this a this is the second a you can see this so this second a is definitely replaced by x and now the intermediate a's and y's will be replaced by a y whatever and now you will get the second b here so this will be second b and this b will be definitely replaced by y and you can say that intermediate b's and z's will be replaced by b's and z's and now what you will get is you will get to the c and now this is the second c and this c will be definitely replaced by a z yes and now you will move to the left side because our job is done second iteration is done and you can see this all the symbols will be again replaced and i will go backward 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 like this everything is left 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 you can see this this is left this is left everything is replaced by the same and now you will be encountering the recent x you will be encountering the recent x and now this is the recent x and this x is again replaced by x and where you go you will go to the right side now you are here i can say that you are here okay so this x is replaced by x and now you are here it means this is the third scan you can see this this is the third a this is the third b and this is the third c you can see this okay now you have to replace the same a will be replaced by a sorry a will be replaced by x y will be replaced by y second b will be replaced by y and this z will be replaced by z this z will be replaced by z and this third c will be replaced by z third c will be replaced by z and now where you will move you will move to the left side okay because the third iteration is also done now everything will be replaced and you will go up to the recent x this is the recent x recent third iteration x and now what you will do you can see this x is replaced by x and you will move to the right side yes now you are here you are here okay now you can see this if y is followed consecutively after x yes it means our job is done you can see this y will be replaced by y y will be replaced by y and where you will move you will move to the right side so it will be here and then again all y's will be replaced by y's and then all z's will be replaced by z's and you are still moving to the right side and suddenly you will encounter the b symbols right so the blank symbols will be encountered and then you will say that yes blank will be replaced by blank and stop here okay it means yes it is accepted if you are going to this final state now let's try to check let's try to check a uh, invalid string is accepted or not let's say the invalid string is a a b and c it's a invalid string you can say that a b c is invalid valid string but a a b c is not invalid so let's put it on to the tape i will put a a b and c as invalid string and all b's will be there and now let's cross check as per our algorithm you will start with a this will be the first iteration in the first iteration what i will do i will replace a by x now intermediate a will be replaced by a the first b. now let's see whether the valid invalid string like a a b c is accepted or not now you can see that a b c is not a valid string because 
A B C is valid. A B B C C is valid, right? So that way these things are valid, but this is not a valid string. Now let's see whether our Turing machine accepts or rejects it. So what we'll do? As per the rule, we will put this onto the tape like this, right? And then all capital B's will be there, and that way you will be having it. Now the first iteration will be here. What will be the first iteration? You know the first iteration. A will be replaced by X. Yes. Now the next A will be replaced by A only. Next B will be replaced by Y. Okay. Now next C will be replaced by Z. And this denotes that the first iteration is done, and that's why you are moving to the left side. You are moving to the left side means actually you are moving into the tape into the left side. But in the state diagram, you are on Q3. Make sure that okay. On Q3, what you are doing? Y will be replaced by Y. You will be moving to the left side. So you are here now, and then. This A will be replaced by A, and you will be moving here. Now you can see this. This will show that. This shows that this is the recent X of the previous iteration, and hence I can say that the first iteration is successful. And hence I will show that the first iteration X will be replaced by the X. Okay. And what I will go? I will go to the right side. Means where you will go? You will go here. You will go here. I can say. Okay. Now what you encounter? You encounter A. A will be replaced by X. Okay. Now this A is replaced by X. This is the second iteration. Let's show it by the red mark. So this A is replaced by X. Now you can encounter a Y. Y will be replaced by Y. You. Now you can see this where you are. You are on Z. You are on Z, and you are still on Q1. And on Q1, you will not find a transition for Z. Do I be able to see any transition of Z here? No. It means the machine will stop here. Machine will stop here. And it will never reach to the final state, and hence the string will be definitely rejected. A, B, C will be definitely rejected. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.